Uh, hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Joe from Family Contents. In this video I have a new tent from Core. It's uh, on their site under the name Core 9 Person Extended Dome Plus Tent with Vestibule. Uh, I'm not sure really what they mean by plus in the name, but it is indeed an extended dome type tent and you realize this when you see the tent without the fly. So this is the picture which I'm showing here in my post. The tent is shown without the fly, so you have this central part which is under two X-crossed uh, poles. And then on the sides there are two extensions, both supported with extra loop. Uh, the tent has, I would say, a partial coverage type fly, which creates a bigger part of the tent, but as you see, these windows on the sides are not covered by it, and uh, it also creates this part here, which they call vestibule, but it's not actually a vestibule, it's uh, simply a porch. Uh, so this is a place where you can sit uh, and be partly protected from the rain and uh, from the wind. The tent has only one door, and uh, it is with a window on it, and there are three extra uh, separate windows here. Here you can see the uh, inside, the view inside. So the uh, central part is moderately uh, high, uh, 72 inches, which is 183 centimeters. So almost uh, stand up uh, height for most people. And there is also an E cable port included. The tent is uh, similar to their yet another uh, that, that has been on the market for many years already. As you see, this is the tent. But here uh, the, the fly actually covers the sides, so there are no windows as in the, in the tent that you have here in this new post. The uh, poles are fiberglass and uh, in the central part, which I mentioned, they are pre-bent, so you have more uh, headspace in this part. The uh, attachment to the base is through grommets, and then higher on the canopy, as you see, you have clips and also sleeves. The fabric is uh, 75D polyester, so it's a durable material, and uh, the waterproof rating is 1200 millimeters. This may not look uh, too much, but actually you don't need more. And the tapes, uh, seams are all taped, so uh, I know that uh, people are usually satisfied with core tents. They are reliable, and uh, this is uh, all done properly. Regarding ventilation, if you uh, see the tent without the fly, you realize that there are uh, big sections on the ceiling with mesh and then of course you have these mesh openings on all four sides so even when the fly is on you see here you still have plenty of options for ventilation through these openings now when you have to close everything you still have uh, vents that i added on the narrow sides of the tent and this is the view from outside so you can stake it out to have more uh, air inside and uh, from inside you have a mesh which is behind the panel you see there is a zippered panel here so you can close these uh, vents if you feel cold and if you feel that you have too much draft in the tent so this is an, a nice uh, detail which is not so frequent uh, with tents of this type so prep, everything is properly done, this tent is ventilated, and uh, there is nothing really to object here. Regarding the area, the tent is officially for 9 people, but for this you have, you have only 144 square meters, uh, uh, feet, sorry, and this is around 13.4 square meters. So not really a camping castle for 9 people. So in principle you can put uh, 9 sleeping pads on the floor because uh, dimensions are such that uh, you can do this, you see the numbers. 
But if you want uh, more comfort, of course, you would reduce the number of people by half or five maximum. Regarding uh, seasons and climate, they describe it as a three season tent, and uh, this is uh, realistic. This is indeed so. Um, as you have seen, most of those openings are closable, except for the mesh areas on the ceiling. Uh, on the other hand, uh, with uh, this uh, fly and uh, porch that you have, I don't think that this is the best uh, tent for very windy places, so it's uh, best to avoid such situations. The tent uh, weighs 27 pounds or 12.2 kilograms, so it may look heavy, but for this size, actually, this is a lightweight tent. The weight is not important in any case because this is a car camping tent and you are not supposed to carry it anywhere. The pack size is more important and it is also, uh, I would say, relatively compact. This, uh, the pack size is good for such a uh, big tent. And uh, another thing I want to point out is that they give one year limited warranty with this tent. My overall rating of this tent is quite good, as you realize. Uh, I, I use the same rating criteria for all the tents here in the site, so it sounds good practically everywhere. And uh, the, my only true objection is that it's uh, a bit small for nine people. And also the vestibule. Uh, actually, it's not a vestibule. This is just a po porch. Useful, but again... Uh, terminology is not completely correct. This is official name, so this is how I, why I use the, the word vestibule, the name. Anyway, this is all I wanted to say here. Uh, there is a link below this video, so you can come and uh, to the site and read this text in detail. Please subscribe to my channel and like it if you like the video. Thank you for watching.